नमस्कार आई एम आनंद एंड यू आर वाचिंग जॉइन फॉर एजुकेशन आई एम गोइंग टू आंसर द क्वेश्चंस ऑफ एसिड बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट दिस इज द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास 10 सब्जेक्ट साइंस लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 ए सॉल्यूशन टर्न्स रेड लिटमस ब्लू इट्स पीएच इज लाइकली टू This is a multiple choice question, and uh, there are four choices, or there are four options of question number one. Out of these four options, one will be the correct, and we know that when red litmus turns into blue, then the solution will be basic, and we know that the pH value of basic is greater than. Seven, and here ten is greater than seven, and all of the three are less than seven. So the correct option of this question will be D. Let's see the explanation of the question number one. so this is the explanation basis turns red litmus blue and acid turns blue litmus red basic solution has a ph value more than 7 since the solution turns red litmus blue its ph is likely to be 10 so hope that there is no problem to understand the explanation of this question Let's see the question number two. Now I am going to read the question number two. A solution reacts with the crushed egg shells to give a gas that turns lime water milky. The solution contains so the solution contains HCl or hydrochloric acid so the correct option of question number 2 will be b let's see the question number 3 10 ml of solution of sodium hydroxide is found to be completely neutralized by 8 ml of given solution of hcl if we take 20 ml of the same solution of sodium hydroxide the amount of hcl solution the same solution as before required to neutralize it will be so the correct option of question number 3 will be 16 ml and 16 ml is in the option d so the correct option of this question will be d let's see the next question which is question number 4 which one of the following types of medicines is used for treating indigestion option a antibiotic option b analgesic option c antacid and option d antiseptic so the correct option of question number 4 will be antacid antacid is used for treating indigestion of that there is uh, no problem to understand the explanation of question number 4 let's see question number 5 this is the question number 5 write uh, word equations and then balance the equations for the reaction taking place when dilute sulfuric acid reacts with zinc then wells dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with magnesium ribbon 
dilute sulfuric acid reacts with ammonium powder and dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with iron fillings. So the answer of the question number 5 to A is sulfuric acid plus zinc, zinc sulfate plus hydrogen. So sulfuric acid and zinc are the reactant and zinc sulfate and hydrogen are the resultant. So the exact chemical reaction is H2SO4 aqueous zinc solid, zinc sulfate aqueous and hydrogen gaseous solid. Let's see the answer of the question number 5 to B. Hydrochloric acid plus magnesium as the reactant and resultant is magnesium chloride and hydrogen. This is the chemical equation and half that there is no problem to understand this one. This is the aqueous state of HCl, solid state of magnesium. This is the aqueous state of magnesium chloride and this is the gaseous state of hydrogen. Let's see the answer of question number 5 to C. Sulfuric acid plus ammonium. Then we get ammonium sulfate and hydrogen. The exact chemical equation is H2SO4 in aqueous state, ammonium in the solid states and aluminium sulfate is in aqueous state and hydrogen is in gaseous state. Let's see question number 5 to D. Hydrochloric acid plus iron. Then we get ferric chloride or iron and hydrogen and this one is also known as the iron chloride. This is the exact chemical equation this one represent hydrochloric acid, this one represent iron and this one represent ferric chloride and at last 3H2 denote the hydrogen. So half that answer of this question will be helpful to the students who are studying in class 10. Thank you very much to stay with me till the answer of the question number 5 my next video lecture will be related to the answer of the rest question of this chapter till then thanks to all of you thank you very much